The equation we're going to be working with is this one here, x over a plus y over b equals 1. And basically the way that this works is that a is our x-intercept and b is our y-intercept. Now, I want to explain something really quick. Say, for example, when you find the x and y-intercept of a, an equation of a line that's in this form, let's say the standard form like this, what we do is we set x to 0 to find the y-intercept and we set y to 0 to find the x-intercept. So, for example, if I put 0 in for x, anything times 0 is 0. And if I divide by negative 2, you can see y is negative 6, right? And so that's going to be where it crosses the y-axis. If we set y to 0, anything times 0 is 0, so that cancels out this term. And if we divide by 3, you can see the x-intercept is 4, right? Once we have those two points, we can easily graph our line, right? Same thing over here. You can see that if we put in... Uh, 0 for x, okay, 0 divided by a is just going to be 0, and so you can see that we're left with y over b equals 1. By multiplying both sides of the equation by b, right, we're going to find out what our y-intercept is. Also, conversely, if we set y to 0, that's going to cancel this term out because 0 over b is 0, and then by multiplying both sides by a, we're getting x equals a, and again, remember, a is our x-intercept. So that's why it works. Now, we're going to look at a couple examples now. So the first one, See how it says graph x over 2 plus y over negative 3 equals 1? So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, our x-intercept is 2, and our y-intercept is negative 3. Now remember, this equation always has to be equal to 1. If it was equal to 2, you could divide everything by 2, but you want to set this equal to 1. And the reason that this works is, again, I'm just going to show you, if you substitute in uh, 0 for x, right, just to show you why it works. So 0 over 2 is 0. If I multiply both sides by negative 3, you're going to see that y is equal to negative 3. There's our y-intercept. If we set y to 0, right, 0 over negative 3 is 0. And by multiplying both sides by 2, you can see that our x-intercept is 2. But this is just a shortcut. If you recognize that the denominator, the number underneath the x is the x-intercept, the number underneath the y is our y-intercept, once you have those two lines, you can just draw or those two points, you can draw a line through it, right? Okay, so number two, now we're working backwards. We're saying write the double intercept equation of the line. Okay, they're giving us the graph. Notice that our y intercept is two. Okay, so we have y over two. Our x intercept is one, two, three, four, negative five. So we have x over negative five and then equals one. Now, if you wanted to, you could, you know, rewrite this a little bit. You could say uh, y over two minus x over five. That's another way to do it. But basically, you can see whatever's underneath the x is the x-intercept, and whatever is underneath the y is the y-intercept.